In this video, we're going to learn how to convert from one currency to another by using an exchange rate. This question says, a tourist visited the Bahamas when the exchange rate was 1 euro equals $1.36 Bahamian. Upon arrival, she converted 640 euro dollars into Bahamian dollars. Part A. Calculate the amount of Bahamian dollars received. So we know we're going to use an exchange rate to convert from euros to Bahamian dollars. Anytime you're dealing with a problem like this and you have the exchange rate, there's an equation you can use. Now that equation is going to be money after exchange. So that's going to be the money you want to find. Equals money to be converted. And money to be converted is going to be the currency you want to change. So we're going to say money to be converted. Or let's say money to be exchanged. So we have money to be exchanged. Multiply by the exchange rate. Now using this equation, all we have to do now is plug and chug to find our answer. So let's read part A once again. It says calculate the amount of Bahamian dollars received. So they want us to calculate the amount of Bahamian dollars, which means this is going to be the money after the exchange. Now, in order to calculate this, we need the money to be exchanged and we need the exchange rate. So let's read the question one more time to see if we can find this. So it says a tourist visited the Bahamas when the exchange rate was one euro equal one dollar and 36 cents Bahamian. So we have the exchange rate and it's going to be one euro equals to one dollar and 36 cents Bahamian. Upon arrival, she converted 640 euro dollars into Bahamian dollars. So we know she is going to convert 640 euro dollars into Bahamian dollars. So the money to be exchanged is going to be 640 euro dollars because that's what she is going to exchange into Bahamian dollars. And then we're going to multiply by the exchange rate. Now don't get confused by the exchange rate. There's a trick you must remember. Now just remember this exchange rate can be written two ways. It can be written as one euro equals one dollar and 36 cents or it can be written as one dollar and 36 cents over one euro so do not get confused they equal each other now you're gonna have to decide which way you're gonna write this exchange rate now the best way to remember which way to write the exchange rate is look at what you're trying to convert. So because we're trying to convert euros into Bahamian dollars, we're going to choose the fraction where euros is in the denominator. Now if we look back at our exchange rate fractions, we can see that this fraction is going to have the euros in the denominator. Therefore, we're going to write our exchange rate this way. Therefore, we're going to say multiply by $1.36 over 1 euro. Now let's start to simplify this. This euro symbol is going to cancel out with this euro symbol, leaving us with 640 multiplied by one dollar and 36 cents over one now we're just going to use our calculators so do not panic we're just going to put in our calculators 640 multiplied by we're going to do brackets 1.36 and then you're going to press either the abc key or the fraction key depending on which calculator you have 
and then you're going to press one and then close brackets equals you should get the answer 870.4 now we're just going to write back the money sign because we know we're converting from euros to bohemian dollars and we should know cents is going to be written to two decimal places and because we only have one we're just going to add a zero for the second decimal place therefore this is going to be our answer for this problem so for part a the answer is going to be eight hundred and seventy dollars and forty cents now the question says at the end of her vacation she converted her remaining $102 bohemian back to euros. Part B. Calculate the amount of euros received. So now this is saying her vacation is finished and she has 102 bohemian dollars left, right? And she wants to convert that back to euros. Now they want us to calculate how many euros is she going to receive when she exchanged 102 bohemian dollars into euros. Now we know what our formula is and it's going to be money after exchange equals money to be exchanged multiplied by the exchange rate. Now we know this was A. So we're just going to write B. And we know the money to be exchanged is going to be 102 bohemian dollars. So we're just going to write 102 multiplied by the exchange rate. Now, which fraction are we going to use? Are we going to use this fraction or are we going to use this fraction for our exchange rate? Well, we know the trick is to look at what we are trying to exchange. So because we're trying to exchange bohemian dollars, which has the dollar sign, we should use the fraction where the dollar sign is in the denominator. Now, if we look at these two fractions, we can see that the dollar sign is in the denominator in this fraction. Therefore, we're going to set up our exchange rate like this. So we can say multiply by one euro over one dollar and 36 cents. Now let's start to simplify this. So we know this dollar sign is going to cancel out with this dollar sign, leaving us with 102 multiplied by 1 euro over 1.36. Now we're just going to use our calculators and we're going to say 102 multiplied by open brackets 1 we're going to press either the ABC key or the fraction key, depending on which calculator you have. And then we're going to enter 1.36, close brackets, equals, and that's going to give us 75. So we end up with 75. And we know the money symbol is going to be euros. Therefore, our answer is going to be 75 euros. So this is how we calculated the answer for part B. 102 bohemian dollars converted back into euros is going to give us the answer 75 euros.